Welcome, I'm Shagrot and I'm going to be your host to this 8th episode on Star Trek Online. In the previous episode I showed you Deep Space Nine and now I'm going to show you... Well, you can see there's something going on in the Starfleet Academy. There are these small uh, blue light balls we can scan and you see particle collapse keeps searching that's because I got nothing there so what uh, we need to do here is to either talk with Professor Mayer here this uh, this man in here or to this console in here to request a cadet Essentially, what you need to do in this uh, in this event, he will explain to you. Then you need to request a cadet. That's an NPC that will come behind you and follow you around while you well collect these blue tinted balls. As you can see, they are all around the all around the um, academy and you have uh, about one hour to collect as much of them as you can but uh, don't get to don't stay too much time oh isolated particle particle destabilizing i need to stabilize it uh, multiphasic scan for example i don't know hey we stabilized it and we get here a particle fragment. The more particle fragments you collect, the more, uh, the better results you will get in, well, the best rewards you will get in the in later. Uh, while well, you do, uh, deliver them to the professor majors. However, you need to be aware that uh, you need to, well, gather as much particles as you can, but you can't surpass the one hour time the event lasts. It lasts from 6 to 7 right now and then there's the Klingon Academy event. Hey! Auto simulation! That's a Klingon that will fight again against you. If you're like me as... oh! Good. If you saw me disappear for a second that's because I'm using the Gem Hadar set. When I defeat the holographic program, I get a particle fragment. What does the cadet want to do? Okay. You can also, I believe, deliver the fragments to the cadets, but oh well. Anyway, I won't be recording this whole event to you. I will try, however, well, to gather as much of this as I can. Personally, it's not uh, really that uh, interesting an event for me because uh, it gets well. It requires a lot of effort to get a good amount of resources from it. Mostly because uh, all the amount of people that goes around trying to well do the same thing, the particles respond pretty quickly. But uh, you see. There's, this is mostly chance. Uh, positron imagine scan, and let's see if we are lucky. We are not. So, again, you need to go around, gather as much of these particles as you can, and go ahead and then deliver them. A lot of the particles will collapse, others will destabilize, and you will need to stabilize them and you might succeed or you might fail and the quest is all around the academy however you must know that uh, the spawn positions for the blue spheres I hope you can see this one in here good enough is fixed they will spawn in the same place all the time so in case you there was another so in case uh, you can stop in one place camping a single particle 
or you can move around like I'm doing trying to get as many particles as you can and so that's it for the whole hour that the event lasts at any time you can however uh, leave the event without uh, much uh, penalization at all you only need to talk with Professor Majors speak with Professor Mayer and redeem particle fragments the second option however 480 dil dilithium costs 15 particle fragments 1056 costs 30 and 2304 costs 60 particle fragments you see the only thing you can get from this uh, event is uh, dilithium that's the reason I prefer not to uh, to do this event usually because uh, with all the amount of people that goes around and all the random chances it is usually better to just go around making dailies when you are level 50 if you are however less level, uh, of less level it might be an interesting option to collect a good amount of um, dilithium while you level up well, let's try with a multifacic scan now. I don't have much hope. Oh, stabilized. Yes, I know it's the second time I get this uh, stabilized that way. However, it is essentially a random process. And you can see a lot of particles destabilize and such. So you end. Uh, you end going around all the time with your pet cadet behind you trying to gather the blue balls before other players reach them and that's all so let's see how much of these uh, particles can I collect for the hour and uh, I'll be back at you at the end of the event to see how much luck uh, did I got Again, you have three options when you scan one of these. First option is, of course, particle collapsed. The second option is that uh, the particle destabilized, and you need to, to choose between two options to stabilize it. It's a 50 50 uh, fail win condition. And the third option is uh, an hologram will spawn and fight you. You need to defeat the hologram, and then you can loot. What uh, some particles you see here it is the only bad part of this is that I cannot display as you can see uh, my web my usual support set of uh, staff I can only fire at will so let's see if I can do something better cannot be modified in combat. Am I in com am I still in combat? Yes I am no I'm not anymore. Okay, I can spawn for Phil's Dome if I use the bunker fabrication. Or I can spawn the shell recharge and the equipment diagnostics if I equip the um, engineering kit uh, equipment technician. So again it's uh, fairly limited for an engineer like me to do this event because of this small reason well it only has 10 minutes left for the event to finish and I've not been so much lucky uh, I believe this has been the most time I've spent uh, making this event and I discover something uh, if you find an expanding particle you need to do a multiphasic scan and if you find some dissipating particle you need to do a positron scan I am talking when you try to gather uh, <coughs> one of the blue lights that is a particle and it, uh, it is the stabilizer you need to stabilize the particle to collect it so it's uh, one of the three options the good news is that uh, they will give you two particles 
for the price of one. Uh, the bad news is that uh, for some reason I've been finding a lot of collapsing particles today. Not that, that I can complain a lot, I got 34 particle fragments and uh, I'm going to redeem them it now because, you know, 8 minutes to farm 26 more, not happening. You can also redeem them with your, with your science cadet, but uh, I prefer this, frankly. How much lithium can I still refine today? Oh, 2000 and a little more. Anyway, this is the uh, Starfleet Academy event. The Klingon Guang works the same way, but uh, in the Klingon Academy. And uh, there's, as you can see, all the simulation combat. And uh, I might find a little problem, because, you know, cadets are really fragile. And I have this little advantage of my Jem'Hadar set, which uh, gives me a, s a small shroud uh, every now and then when I get uh, damage. Anyway, since uh, it's unlikely that I will get about 16 more particles in, what, 6 minutes more? Oh dear. 11 more particles I would need, uh, which I doubt I will get, but well, I, I can try. Um, this has been the Starfleet Academy event, episode 8 of my Welcome to Star Trek Online, and the next thing I will show you all is the Mirror event, which is another fairly uh, interesting event in Star Trek Online that, uh, well, you can do at uh, any level, regardless of your rank and stuff, but uh, you can only do on certain times. Today it will be from 10 o'clock to 11 o'clock night. And you join it, volunteering for player versus environment QEs. So, yes, that's the... Uh, the way we play in here well <laughs> and thank you for watching i hope to see you again in the next episode bye